Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Speedbreaker and welcome to part two of my OBS tutorial series. In part one, I explain how to set up OBS for the first time. So in today's part, we're going to be talking about how to get an overlay going on, how to get your current song to display here, how to set up Nightbot, and basically how to get song requests on your stream. So first up, let's look at Nightbot. Now, Nightbot you're going to be using if you want to have song requests on your stream, if you want to do giveaways, if you want to keep track of your followers, of your subscribers, Nightbot is a great tool. So head over to nightbot.tv, go to the right upper part and click on register. You have to link your Nightbot and your Twitch profiles. Now I've already done this, so it will just tell me you've already registered. Uh, log in with your uh, username and password that you have created on uh, Nightbot TV. All right, so the first thing you want to do when you get to your dashboard is actually go over to twitch.tv, go to your stream site, uh, go over to the chat, type in slash mod nightbot. And now nightbot has actually moderated rights. This is important because otherwise it wouldn't work. Now we're here, you have to click on join nightbot. And there we go, nightbot is now joining your channel. As you can see here, it again, it says me that uh, moderator rights are needed. So we've already did this, so we can basically neglect it. Now with Nightbot, we can do a lot of crazy things. There's a lot of spam protection that you can enable like uh, spam blacklist, caps protection, symbol protection, etc., etc. And there are a lot of commands that you can use with Nightbot. I usually just use it for song requests. So um, you can basically type in, um, as a viewer, you can type in song request. And then for example, a, uh, a YouTube link, blah, blah, blah. And with that, it will basically cue a song that is on YouTube and it will play it in Nightbot Auto DJ. This is really awesome, basically. And uh, what you can also do if nobody has, this is of course an invalid ID, if nobody has actually sent you a uh, video uh, via this, this chat here, you can also set up a personal playlist. So as you can see here, I've got a lot of tracks uh, queued up in a personal playlist. If I just wanna play my own tracks on my stream, I just go over to Auto DJ click on, oh, this is bad, we need to make this lower, uh, click on um, force to load auto, uh, like my own playlist, which is already done here, and then it will just play um, the songs. Now, if you want to show your currently playing song on stream, like it is right here, you have to use um, a program. So I'm gonna go over and uh, I don't have it here anymore, I think. Oh, there it is. It's this 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 download link here. I haven't really found it on Nightboard. I just found it uh, by Googling through the web. And this will download you a little file, a little um, program, which we're gonna look at right through here. You have to open it up. You have to like unwrap it, open it up, go to settings. And here you have to put in your username. So we'll just put in Speedbreaker if I were able to write my own name. And then you can customize how your um, song format will look like. So this is basically the file that this generates. This basically just grabs um, the information of what current track is playing on Nightbot. And it will show you a, um, it will give you a, a text file. So I haven't started this, this up right here. So we're just gonna do it real quick. I don't want any text here. I just want the text of the song, which is um, percentage S. We'll save this. Now we open up current song XA. And as you can see, it just grabs the currently playing song, which is Cannonball. And it will create some files. There we go. So it created these three files here. And I just wanna use this one, current song name. And as you can see here, it says the currently playing song. Now in OBS, what you wanna do is, if we don't have this, you want to click on add text. Now let's call it current song. Oh, we already set this, so it's just current song. Um, set up some fonts, use text from file, browse, uh, I should be right here and there. And as you can see right here, we can click on edit scenes to move around your scenes. And as you can see here, it shows um, the currently playing song. Now this isn't quite how I liked it. This isn't quite how it was right here, right? So let's have a look on how to get it to display as nicely as I have it here. So first of all, I want to use another font. This is a disgusting font, so we'll just use this one here, we'll make it a little bit smaller, I guess. And now the tricky part here is this, use custom text extent. Now what I wanna do here is, I just want it 
to display on this length here. So this is about 500 pixels, I suppose. That's about right. And what I also have done is that, because as you can see right here, it doesn't show the entire text because the size of the width isn't, isn't, isn't big enough. So you wanna add some scrolling and you can put in like 25 is a decent scrolling speed, I think, or even 30. It just looks nice and uh, gently scrolling to the left. And now I can just use, put it here. And as you can see, it looks just like I have it, have had it before. Now I've of course added some more things here. I've added a um, background picture here, which is basically just an orange, like a uh, 500 times 50 pixel image that I've just put in. If you want to put in images, you can have, just have to click on add um, image, which don't call it anything. And then as you can see here, I've got my assets and I've just used this picture right here. And then you have your picture. Now I've also made it a little bit op opaque. So it doesn't look as, as, as bad as, as like straighten your face. You can just right click settings, opacity 90. There we go. Okay. So we're going to just delete this again because we don't really need it. Now our current sound that we've just created, we can delete it again because we already have it like this. Um, now for webcams, actually, this is rather easy. You just click on add, um, I believe it's, I'm not quite sure, what is it? Is it, is it, is it image, text, video? Okay, video, video capture device, there we go. And there you have your webcam and you can configure it, whatever you want. This is, this is specific for your webcam, how this looks here. So this might not look as, as it looks for me. So this is really just depending on your webcam that you have. Uh, but this is basically how to add, add a webcam. That's pretty straightforward, I guess. That's not too hard. Um, but there we go. You already have your um, currently playing song going on here. You have MyBot with a uh, playlist that is playing. And with the currently played song, which is uh, grabbed by current song XA and then put on your stream with this text inclusion thingy. So that's already pretty straightforward, I guess. That's pretty easy. Now, if you want to include text of, uh, for example, some other source, for example, uh, YouTube or SoundCloud or Windows Media Player, VLC Player, whatever you could imagine, there are other solutions out there. For example, there is this uh, free SMG now playing file here. And um, by the way, I'll put all of the links in the description down below so you can just click on it and download the stuff. Um, this actually supports a lot of players, as you can see here, web music players, desktop music players, just download it. And uh, once you've downloaded it, duh, 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 it should be here. And then you can open it and you can say you want to listen to iTunes or, or YouTube or whatever and start. And if you have some song playing on YouTube, for example, Rise, then as you can see here, it will show the, uh, the currently playing song. Now this is working pretty similarly as the other one before. It will just give you um, a text file current song where the currently playing song is displayed in and you can just include it into OBS with add text, blah, 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 as I've already shown before. So that's pretty straightforward. You've already now seen how to get um, song requests and stuff like that. Now also on Nightbot, you can also use it to make giveaways. So you can just start a giveaway with question answer, random number, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and people can say, as you can see here, a random, give a random giveaway is about to start. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. It's really straightforward Nightbot, and I'm probably not going to go into more details on how to use Nightbot because I really just use it for song requests, and I guess for giveaways it's pretty cool. But other than that, I don't really use it at all. But that already sums it up for the second part on how to use OBS. If you do have any questions to how to use Nightbot or how to get your currently playing song to be displayed here, do make sure to leave it in the comment section below, and I'm glad to answer them. But as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one, and until the next one. Cheers.